shower that's why I have this towel on my head you're just going to want to let your hair air dry for a little bit while you do your makeup the first thing I'm going to do is apply a moisturizer this is my favorite one it's by DDF it's the ultra light oil free moisturizing do but you can also use something simple like the Cetaphil moisturizer just for me personally I like to go in with a green concealer just to make sure I have more coverage this is um, the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti Redness Primer. And today I'm going to be using all my clean Sigma Make Me Blush brushes, by the way. So I'm going to take the Sigma F60 foundation and I'm just going to put that green concealer on it. And I'm going to dab it wherever I redness, which is pretty much all over my face. So what's great about this is that it works as a primer, um, not just a concealer, so you can put it wherever you want. Alright, so the next step is foundation, and I'm using my CoverGirl plus the Olay foundation. This is the Simply Ageless one, and this is in the color 210. I just happen to like this foundation because it's really moisturizing for me so that um, my face doesn't start getting dry while I'm on the dance floor, I guess you could say, because my face gets dry very easily very soon so this kind of helps to keep the moisture in it also doesn't look too shiny on camera like the Maybelline um, smooth mousse does that one looks very shiny on camera so I chose this one another good one would be the Revlon color stay but that one is a bit drying for me um, especially if I'm gonna wear it for a couple hours so there's different ways that you can apply foundation today I'm probably gonna use this one because it gives me like a more airbrush effect and this is the Sigma SS 131 you can also use you can also use brushes like this from e.l.f. that are just a flat top and you can just kind of stipple it on like that. Um, you can also use a foundation brush like this, um, but I prefer to use this for my green concealer. So I'm just going to go in with this. Because I have an extra dry face, I need to use a Fix Plus or some type of water spray like this one from H2O. Something that is liquidy and more on the watery side so that I can add some more hydration to my face. So I just spray it two times on the brush and then I go into the foundation and just kind of brush it on. I like this foundation because it's very lightweight but you can add more if you want more coverage. Today I'm going to be using just this drugstore palette. It's from Maybelline and it's called Sunbaked Neutrals. I figured a brown smoky eye would work best with any color of dress that you have. You also can't forget your primer. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Um, I don't know any good drugstore primers. You can try the e.l.f. one, but I'm not really a fan of that one. Um, so if you're going to go for an eyeshadow primer to make your um, eyeshadows last on all day, I would definitely suggest getting a high-end one that will last you a long time. So I'm actually going to use the applicators that come in this set. It just makes it a lot easier so you don't have to go out and buy your own brushes if you don't want to for your eyes. So the first color I'm going to go into is this very dark gold color. And we're going to put it right onto the lids and just pat it on. Use patting motions. You don't want to wipe it. So I just applied that color, and the next one that we're going to do, you actually need a brush for. Um, I'm going to use my Rack and Republic brush, but you can use whatever um, blending brush that you have, and we're just going to work a color into the crease, and it's, yeah, this color right here. It's like a matte medium brown, and you just want to load that up onto the blending brush, and work it into the crease. The next thing you want to do is go into a very dark matte brown color. 
because you only want the shine to be on the lids pretty much. So I'm going to be using this dark brown right here. I'm going to actually use the other side of the sponge tip applicator. I'm going to pick it up and you're going to dab it right in the outer corner. And this will just help to give a little bit more dimension and won't make your eye look so flat. And you can actually blend it in pretty nicely with this applicator as well. Apply your highlight color. I'm going to apply these two whites that are in the palette. So then you want to apply a black eyeliner. You can do brown, but black really stands out, especially in you know the flash photography. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Line Stiletto in black. You don't want the liner to be too thick because then when you open your eyes you'll only see the black liner. When you open your eyes you want to see the shimmery gold. So what really makes my eyes pop that I've found is using a light gold color all underneath of your lower lash line. This is by Mark and it's the Mini Market Stick and it's in the color Gold Opal. And I literally just put it all underneath of my lower lash line. And I'm going to use my Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. And I'm probably going to apply two to three coats of this on the bottom and the top. So I have just filled in my eyebrows. The trick that I like to do is take a concealer stick like this. I'm going to use my Hard Candy Concealer. Um, I'm going to use this one right here, but you can use whichever concealer works best for you. This just happens to be a drugstore one. And I just like to pick some of the product up and work it on my hand a bit and work it into the brush. And the first thing I do is I do my under eyes. And I just swipe it on that ring that happens to be there most of the time and swipe it over here too. And then just blend it in with your finger. So then with whatever is left on my brush, I use it to shape my eyebrows a little bit better. Like that. For the face, you want to apply some type of translucent powder. This is by NYC. It's just their loose powder. I'm going to use that today. Use whatever translucent powder you can to wipe away any shine and stuff like that because you don't want your face to be shiny when you are taking pictures. And just lightly wipe it all over the face. And you definitely don't want to be too pale, so I'm going to be using my NYC bronzer in the color Sunny. And I'm just going to be taking an e.l.f. brush like this and contouring my face. Right underneath of the cheekbone. I contour my nose. And then lastly, my forehead and my temples. Okay, so then just to get a nice sheen all over, I'm actually going to use my powder brush again. I'm going to go in with this. It's by Marc. It's called Glow Delicious. And it's a powder that isn't too shimmery, but it kind of helps to bring some color back to your face. Um, so I'm going to apply that as my blush. And then whatever is left, just kind of swirl it around that side of the face. And the last thing is lipstick. So for lipstick, you definitely want something that you don't have to keep reapplying over and over again. You just want a color that you put on before you go, and you're good to go for the rest of the night. So this is my favorite one. It's the Maybelline Superstay 24 color. And this is in the color Berry Persistent. So I'm going to apply on my lips. Make sure you apply it carefully because it it's a lip stain. <laughs> you don't want to like stain your face. Once you got the color on how you like it, you just let it sit there for a couple of minutes and then you apply this, which is the other side. And it's like a light balm and you can just take this with you and you can just keep reapplying the moisturizing balm during the night um, and you don't need to keep reapplying this. So I have let the lipstick dry, now I'm going to apply the gloss right over it. And you can just keep redoing that all throughout the night. Okay, so zooming out now, I'm showing you guys my hair. I have, woo, let me fix the camera. 
I have completely straightened and blow dried it. If you want to see a video where I show you how I do this, then just click right here and I'll put it there whenever I can. Um, but it's just, you just blow dry and straighten your hair. I mean, it's not that hard. But anyway, the things that you're going to need for the hair is like a one inch curling iron. Um, you're going to need some heat protectant, a tiny little um, rubber band, some shine serum, and a big rubber band, and that's it. So with my hair straightened, I'm actually going to start by putting the heat spray all over it. You want to just let that dry, and by the way, this was the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. You just want to let that dry in your hair before you start curling. So. When I'm curling, I'm actually not going to separate out my hair because we're going to put our hair in a ponytail. So what I'm going to do is just take random strands and curl my hair all in the same direction, all going under. I'm going to curl everything under. So make sure that the curling iron is faced the opposite way that you would normally do it. So when I curl my hair under, you make sure that the clamp is also under and then you flip it up. And I'm just probably holding it there for about three seconds till it's nice and warm. So since, um, since we'll be putting it in a ponytail, the most important part that you need to curl are the ends of your hair because those are what is going to be sticking out. The shorter layers are probably going to be smoothed back and may not even reach the ponytail. And so if you are running out of time, just make sure that your the bottom section of your hair is the hair that's curled. I know when I was getting ready for my prom, when was it, in high school, probably about three years ago I think was my prom I just got ready at my boyfriend's house and I remember I was running out of time so I just did my hair some hair up some hair down and um, I didn't have enough time to do my bangs so I had to like clip them up in a little poof and it looked terrible so this I wish I had known to do this because <laughs> this wouldn't would have taken a whole lot less time so once you have your hair all curled, you're going to want to take some hairspray, any hairspray that you like, and just lightly mist the curls. So while they set, you're going to want to tease the top section of your hair. I'm just going to spray and then tease. So then the front section of your hair, just gather about, let's see, is that enough? Yeah, about that much. And this is where that little ponytail holder comes in. So take that little ponytail holder and just for this little straight section of hair, it's really not that much, you're just going to make sure to put it away. You're just going to get it out of the way so that you can tease the rest of this hair. Make sure you tease it back and you can use some hairspray if needed. Spray. Just a light mist to make sure that it stays that way. Put your hair back and we are going to put it into a ponytail. right about in the middle of the head right about to there make sure you tie it around as many times as you can because you don't want it to fall when you're dancing and stuff and then just tighten it up because we curled our hair all in the same direction all the curls should be pretty much going in the same direction creating one big curl 
So, take your shine spray like this, put a little bit in your hand, and we're just going to rub it on that one big curl. Just so that it's shiny. I really want to make sure that this is getting a lift, so I'm just taking a rat tail comb and right around the crown of the head, not on the sides, I'm just lifting the hair up. Okay, so for these bangs right here, what we're going to do is spray them under right here, then lift them back, take your brush, and just lightly comb them back and hairspray right at the ends. So that way it kind of looks like a combed through effect. Like your hair was just kind of combed back. The last additional thing that we are adding are earrings, and these happen to be from Stella and Dot. These are what the earrings look like. You definitely want to go for dangly earrings. And I'll show you guys the back. So that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you use it for your proms or whatever dances or special occasions that you have. If you guys do this, um, post some pictures. Give me some pictures on my Facebook. You know, show me if you tried this look out. If you want to post a video response to doing this look, you could also do that as well. Um, but yeah, I just think this is a really fun, different look and it looks very elegant. You could wear it with, you know, any dress that you have. Um, so I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!